This is Local. I'm Eric Broner and I've been exploring the Sea to Sky Valley with big mountain skier Ian McIntosh. Today, Ian has taken me to the legendary Brandywine snowmobile zone. For years, I've been filming off my snowmobile. Um, we, you know, we refer to the snowmobile as like the poor man's helicopter. It can really get you out into the wilderness in a pretty quick period of time and get you into some terrain that's untouched and uh, with no one else around. And that's the perfect recipe for filming. This area is perfect for sled skiing with easy access into endless alpine bowls. Brandywine is a place you could spend years exploring and still find new spots to ski. A lot of ski movies and snowboard movies have been made right in this little spot right here. Yeah, I actually recognize some of the cliffs. It's endless. There's really a lifetime of terrain to explore around here. And it's, uh, it's a great place to live if you want to be a professional skier and film in segments. There's still so much more to do though. That's the beauty of this area. The Whistler backcountry is no joke. Out here, you need to be prepared for whatever nature throws at you. So in a place as massive as this, exploring with the local is mandatory for safe travel. My guide is a seasoned veteran of these parts, so going out in foul weather is not a concern. The visibility doesn't look like it's going to be very good any higher up. All right, let's go for a lap. All right, let's hop on mine. Mac is a total powder hound, and ripping through these old growth tree glades with him it is very apparent to me how passionate he is for skiing in this immense landscape. Hi, another one? Why wouldn't we? <laughs> All right, check it out. There's a snowmobiler up there. It's coming right down the same line we skied. Nice, he's killing it. This guy's good on a sled. Is that Treadway? I think I can see his blonde hair from here. It is Treadway. One time no see, man. No oh, yeah, doubt, Treadway, good to see you. Yeah, Treadway. Dan Treadway is a true mountain man, a former hard charging pro skier known for launching huge cliffs. Dan has been a local fixture in Whistler since the early 90s. Banned from the ski hill in years past for poaching permanent closed areas on the resort, he set his eyes on pioneering the Sea to Sky backcountry on a snowmobile. What are you doing out here? We thought we were the only souls out here. I had a buddy in town, so we came up for a little ride and uh... I figured we'd build a bonfire and just hang out. We'd go dry off a little bit. Well, I brought the gun to do some target practice and doing just so happens the only day I bring it, see a ptarmigan on the road. So we got lunch, let's do her up. Oh, you... no way. <laughs> <laughs> Sled way. We're gonna head to the trees, make a fire, and cook up some bird Dan shot. And if it's anything like the Dan Treadway I know of, I'm sure there's some antics to ensue. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Not a bad way to spend a day, I'd say. Yeah, right? We got a fresh heart for you. Nice little heart. We got to do this. Yeah, you, you got to do it, man. All right. Yeah. Welcome to Canada. He just swallows <laughs> it whole. Nice think one. about it. <laughs> so you got your shotgun. You've got a killed bird. Yeah. This is the Whistler backcountry. It's how, it, how we roll out here. Fully civilized meal. Oh, she's hot. Oh, that looks awesome. Boy. Thanks, bud. It's like Thanksgiving feast out here. Mm, that's really good. What a perfect way to end a sweet day, though. We just keep having a good day after a good day here. Yeah. yeah, it really doesn't get much better. You know, you sit here looking at the lines, you're just skiing and sledding, and it's a pretty amazing place to live. <laughs>